all the respect here on the Breakfast Club, and that is that we remember those silent seeds, some of whom helped start this net and kept it going for all these years, so we may enjoy it today. Also want to remember all of those who have given their lives in service to our country and preserving the quality of life that we enjoy today, and of course that would be all of our military. And I'd like to also incorporate the uh, first response uh, because of floods and fires and things like that, tornadoes, some of them give their lives as well. So if you would please, a moment of silence. Uh, the AZUAFD Breakfast Club. That's good, thank you. Do we have anyone mobile? Mobile or operating at a real limited power or antennas like portable or something like that? Any mobiles and safety to need a little extra help? That's the AZUAFD. Okay, well, please be patient with me. I've got a long list here, and I'm not going to run them. I'm just going to start to kick it off and then pause in between. And if by chance I get uh, a little twist on the scissor, yank on my filter chain, there's a uh, down, Bill. We're going to start off with that young man, Mr. Perry, followed by party today. KB0UOZ, WA0AFD, how are you this morning? Good morning, uh, guys. Uh, good morning, the whole gang. Man, the old man's in uh, pretty good shape uh, this morning. Let's say, uh, Bill, 45 degrees uh, uh, here this morning. Uh, uh, I think Mark made a comment about it. It was so much warmer than it was yesterday. And boy, that is right. Uh, 45 degrees here this morning. Going up into the upper 50s, so going to be another uh, another nice day, a warm, uh, warm day here. So uh, I'm going to bundle up uh, later on in the middle of the day and... Uh, uh, get this arm of mine uh, in, uh, in my arm, in my brace, and I'm going to take me a walk up, uh, get, uh, get, get me some exercise. I've been sitting around in here too much. Uh, uh, so anyway, that's the way she goes around here. Uh, uh, Bill, thanks for being here and doing the duties, and we'll catch everybody down the page, KB0, you always had. Okay, Perry, yeah, about the same temperature up here in the St. Louis area. And we're supposed to get up into the 50s with sunshine. So thank you very much for checking in. You have another fine day. We're going to pick up party today, and we're going down to Stephen and to Delta. KC9, CTV, WA0IFD. How are those uh, uh, good grief the, uh, the Bears doing? Good morning, Bill. Baseball. N0BCU, 
Get as close to by today, deep into that new Hacienda at the A0AFD Breakfast Club. Get up some, some good permanent antennas too. I know you're 
to do that. Uh, Bill, I've got a good signal on you this morning. Everybody sounded pretty good. I'm glad you took the net over. Uh, we uh, all appreciate it. Good morning to you. N0 HDM. I got you, Holland. Yeah, before I go on, uh, I, I'm going to publicly admit something. I don't remember if Mark transferred me over or you checked in. But Mr. Jerry in Wildwood, are you on there? Or are you still aboard WA's K0 VU WWA 0 AFT? Yeah, I guess he didn't stay around. Okay. All right, we got Harlan Echo India India. Was there another one? Okay, yeah, Dave. Uh, yeah, we're going to move up the uh, end of the month breakfast to the 21st. I need to get out an email address that that issue. So uh, I don't know if I got. Uh, I just got more or less directed. Uh, move it up a week. Uh, okay. So uh, I'll be sending something out. All right, now this next guy has a, a temperature traceable to NISP, so he claims. Uh, I'm sure his neighbor over there with the Sierra might take exception to that. But come on in here, John, and lay it on us. 89LV, WA0AFD, over. has been restored, John. More and more, even businesses are starting to say Merry Christmas. Uh, QSL? Oh, QSL. Uh, yeah, I, I, uh, some people still say Happy Holidays to me. I turn right around and Merry Christmas right up in the face, sir. Amen. Amen. And I say uh, Merry Christmas right back to you. And uh, I, uh, we're grounding in political correctness. Uh, take a look at your calendar. It says December the 25th is Christmas, so Merry Christmas. What if those same people are offended when you say Happy Fourth of July, QSL? Yeah, QSL, yeah, that too. So, uh, but it'll be a merry time there. Uh, breakfast Club, Breakfast Club is down there in July, that's for sure. <laughs> We're going to be there, buddy. That's what you said, so we're looking forward to it. You might, might take a step to that 36.1. We'll just have to wait and see. Well, good morning, Mary, after Knoxville, Iowa, uh, KB0 MOT. Come on in there and pour yourself some hot breakfast club coffee. WA0AFD, over. Yeah, I'm going to be there Thank you for checking in, got you 27, and uh, we're a little warmer down here. Uh, we're supposed to get up to the early 50s with sunshine today in the St. Louis area, so uh, kind of unusual for this time of the year, but hey, it is what it is. Okay, well now this next guy, uh, he may possibly have a, a, a comment to make about that aforementioned temperature. So everybody sit on the air to your chair. Uh, I'll do the Ed McMahon song. Here's KU9S, WA0AFD, over. Hey, Martha. WA0AFD, over. Hey, Martha. Hey, Martha. Hey, Martha. Hey, Martha. Somebody listening that takes offense to it. I'd 
got 34.4 in the bird feeder, 34.1 on the garage, which is inverted. Normally the garage is warmer. So I may have a brush and a Anyhow, we still think we're hooking uh, up to that to do a fantastic job. Well, you know, uh, John and Jerry, uh, the, the uh, BC uh, net control manual does not interchange conflict resolution. So you two guys will have to work on that 36.1, 36, uh, 34.4. But I'm sure it's somewhere be cooked in between, so have a good day. Oh, it's a pleasure to serve you a cup of coffee there. And uh, actually, uh, I've given up on both of those parties. They're all cut out of the same mold, and they're all out there for bettering their own pocketbook. Uh, they cut out and lie through their teeth, and they go back to Washington and sell out to the uh, lobbyists for the best deal they can put money in their pockets. So I'm alienated by both parties. QSL? Yeah, it's not a nickel. 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 I heard it said like this that the uh, representatives and the senators should be like NASCAR drivers. They should wear clothes uh, and tell who their sponsors are because they're sure that HPLL is not the people that voted for them. Anyhow, those are my thoughts. WD0AMY. Uh, I'm sorry, I might have messed up the first part of this call, Charlie. WD0AMY. WD0AMY. Over. AMY, Charlie, your turn. KG5DX. Roger on that. Um, <clears throat> Hello, Bill. Good morning, Bill. Um, uh, <clears throat> oh, wow. Uh, got to WA0 AFD. This is Charlie. We out here in Wichita. KD0 out from Mike Yankee. 29.8 degrees. It's going up in the upper 50s today, believe it or not. And with that, I'm going to turn it right back to you. Appreciate you getting me checked in, Bill. I'm going to turn it right back. Uh, I was, uh, had to turn around and come back. I was headed to the, uh, the men's room. <laughs> so I got to go, uh, Bill. But anyway, top of the morning to you. Uh, uh, WA0 AMC. This is KD0 AMY. Yeah, I had a check in there about the same time that Charlie keyed up. Who was that check in? Before I got you in there, might have been one more. KG5DX, did you have me, Bill? Uh, no, I didn't, but I do now, Paul. Okay, Bill, you got it. Bill, you got it. Bill, you got it. Bill, you got it. All right, well, sorry about the timing there, Charlie. And uh, you got to go, buddy. You got to go. Uh, you got to take precedence. You got your 29.8 going up to 50. You have a great day, and thanks for checking in. Now we're going down to the farming center in Missouri. Now she's lost to the city. She went off. Easy for you to say. S0HMS. Got it. WA0AFD over. WA0AFD. Enjoy the semester. Very good morning to you, neighbor. And good morning to the breakfast club. Not much going on here this morning. Uh, sitting here with... Uh, 43 degrees and clear skies. Pretty warm out there, actually. And uh, today's high is going up to 52 with sunny skies. Got rain coming in tomorrow and Friday. And they said we're going to get quite a bit of rain, uh, maybe one to two inches, uh, but nothing but rain, uh, no thunderstorms. So that'll be good. Uh, just going just gonna, to uh, soak up the ground. Anyway, uh, not much else. Uh, just watching the news, sipping on my coffee, listening to the radio, and uh, that's about it right now. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, we're going to say good morning out there to our, our military friends. I sure do appreciate their service and sacrifices they make every day of the year. And good morning to uh, the veterans and the first responders that uh, serve and uh, protect our communities out there. We sure appreciate all those uh, folks that uh, uh, put on a uniform uh, doing that, uh, their job there. Anyway, we'll send it back to you there, Bill. You have a great day and a good week, uh, what's left of it. And uh, uh, everybody have a great day. Enjoy your mess, Albert. Simplify, Ron. Simplify, Gary.
Okay, Semper Fi to you, Marine. You're, you're an F of a Navy guy. And if you want to get her done, you send in the United States Marine Corps. QSL? QSL. <laughs> an F of a Navy guy. Anyhow, thank you, Ross. Always a pleasure. Uh, N0SAQ out there, Floyd. Good morning, sir, and how are you? WA0AFD. Got you, Mark.
We'll have lunch uh, over there. There's a couple of good spots uh, for lunch, and then we'll come back home uh, later this afternoon. But, Bill, I've got a uh, question. I don't know whether Perry's still on frequency here or not, but I turned the uh, rig on about the time he was making his transmission, and I wasn't aware that uh, Perry had uh, injured himself. I don't know. You might... Uh, update me on that if you know what, what took place, or maybe if he's still here, he can kind of uh, fill me in, but Terry, if you're listening, whatever uh, whatever you did, I hope you get healed up there pretty quickly. Bill, that's it from here, back to you, thanks, uh, <laughs> excuse me, thanks as always for uh, being here and doing the duties, WA0 ASD in the control breakfast club, this is K0 Thank you, Bill. Hey, hey, you hey, 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 uh, I took a fall on the ice over here at work, and uh, I fell about, about the same time Steve did a year ago, but uh, uh, I didn't get it hurt near as bad as I did this time. But yeah, I just, uh, messed up my shoulder. Uh, uh, I go in to see the surgeon uh, 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 next Tuesday, a week from yesterday, uh, to schedule, schedule surgery. So anyway, uh, looks like I'm out of commission for a little while. Well, I'm sorry to hear that, Perry. I didn't, uh, wasn't aware of that, but you take care, and I'm sure whatever they do, it'll turn out fine and help you get back in shape. But we'll, uh, we'll be thinking about you. Back to you, Bill. KZ, West, CG. Thanks. Yeah, KZ, you okay? Thanks for the, uh, the break there, Bill. Okay, yeah, I picked up YCH on that. I picked up uh, XFX, VUW, and YCH. And uh, also, RAB, XFX, VUW, YCH. Was there anyone else out there? Bill, you're about 20 over 9 down here this morning. Yep. <laughs> well, that's an old man. Well, you know what, Tom and Terry and Trip, we try to have a little bit of order here, but this is ham radio and good, uh, a good uh, fellowship and... Uh, uh, so on and so forth. That's part of the equation, too. So, uh, a very, uh, I'll say a prayer for you, buddy. I'm sorry to hear you injured yourself, and I sure hope they're able to bring you back to uh, uh, well-being here uh, in peace. Uh, so, thanks a lot. Thank you, Tom, for checking in. My golly, we're going up to South Dakota to see what Mr. Richard's up to today. Any uh, big uh, trip plan today, K0CIR, WA0AF, you over? Yeah, hey, good morning, Bill. Good morning to everybody on the Breakfast Club, and thanks for getting me in. I, I checked in with Mark, but I guess he didn't hear me earlier. Uh, boy, yeah, no, I don't have anything planned today. I, I went out to uh, Phillips, South Dakota late yesterday and got back about 7 o'clock. Uh, but, uh, yeah, no snow on the ground here, 21 degrees and going up to a high of... Uh, uh, 41 today, it looks like. Boy, we're going to be in the 40s and 50s the rest of the week. So thanks for running the night this morning, Bill, and uh, take care. We'll talk to you later. WA0AFD, K0PIR. Yeah, you were in Nebraska yesterday? Uh, no, that was the other day. That was, I think, Monday, and yesterday I went to Phillips, South Dakota. Uh, on the road again, QFL. <laughs> QFL. I like staying at home when it's, uh, you know, 20 degrees outside. I understand that one. Okie doke. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, excuse me. We're clear with K0 off PIR. Now we're going to Bellevue, Joshua. Come on in there and have a cup of co uh, breakfast cup of coffee. K0 KIV from WA0 AFD Breakfast Club. Over. Yesterday, 
and did a bunch of office work, which is Bob Humbug to me. So uh, that's about it from Bellevue, and uh, everybody had a great day. So you can hear old thing I did. Check in. Who's the check in? Yeah, did you get it to me on your last 59 business day? No, I did not, by golly, but you're on there now, buddy. Well, there's no way on uh, planet Earth that I would not acknowledge you if I heard you there, Earl. So, okay, Joshua. Yeah, you know, um, I, I kind of got forced into retirement in 2009, and I kind of thought I'd be through uh, meetings and paperwork wrong. <laughs> okay, and got to 42 uh, degrees, and yeah, we're looking for a pretty good day up here in Metro St. Louis, also up into the 50s. Beautiful, beautiful signal in St. Louis and good sounding audio, so thank you. We're covered KD zero KIV. Now we're going up to the uh, the Heartland, Iowa. We'll see what uh, the Heartland's up to. KK zero E I I W A zero A F D Mr. Breakfast from you. Okay, you got 31 degrees, and as always, a pleasure to serve you a cup of coffee. We're clear with Hunter, now we're going over to Wildwood, which is against us to Chesterfield. Yeah, here I read the mail on you guys up there on 78, but I didn't feel like it was proper for me to break in. And I know you're having a rough day, buddy. Hang in there, k 0 V U W W A 0 A F D over. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is, uh, the reaction of these shots yesterday. Anyway, so much about that. Good morning, everybody. Hope everybody's doing well. We had 43 degrees here a little while ago, and uh, that's about it. So uh, just be reading the mail here. So thanks for the cup of coffee, Bill. W-A-0-A-F-D, K-0-V-U-W. Good morning, Gary. Good morning, Dave, everybody. Yeah, by the way, uh, uh, the 23rd, we're going to move it up, but I, I found it probably works best if I send that email out like Sunday or the Monday before the, the actual event. But uh, you do plan on the scooter up to the 21st to yeah, help? Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm for, I'm for uh, I enjoy now, it. I got to know, uh, both, I know you're you a know, man of many disguises. You're not going to be wearing a red suit with white whiskers, are you there? Thanks. Over? Double. I say, Gary, uh, I know you're a man of many disguises. Uh, are you going to visit that on the 21st wearing a red suit with white whiskers to yourself? I can't, I can't say what I'm going to be. Oh, you're going to be like that. Well, okay, buddy. <laughs> Got you 43. I hope you feel better. You know, uh, I have a list of people I pray for every day, and uh, Gary W. and Gary Z are on that list every day, so... Uh, you're a tough, you're a tough cookie, buddy, and I admire you. Uh, I know you put up with a lot of stuff you don't talk about, but uh, you're one of them. They're a good guy. So we'll catch you later. Going down to Mansfield, Tennessee, and see what Sherman's up to. Then out to Maruta, Colorado. A E four N L. Sherman, good morning. W A zero A F E Breakfast Club.
Bill. Any idea, can you know, Sir Edelman? Well, Sherman, uh, you know, uh, any form of liquid that falls from the sky that runs off of its own accord is not too bad. Do you have help? <laughs> nice, nice signal from good old man from Tennessee. Uh, thank you for checking in. Well, uh, I'm working on this ball. I'm getting better at it, but we'll have to stop East Colorado and uh, uh, see what's going on out there with Mr. Paul. kq 5 D S WA zero AFC over. Yeah, morning, Bill. Yeah, the Arkansas River still coming in from the northwest and uh, flowing out to uh, northeast of here as it makes its way to Kansas, where it changes its name. Anywho. Went to the uh, regular doctor yesterday and got a good uh, report and told me to come back in three months. What else? I think I saw on Eham, they deleted the station in Wichita as an amp repair and it took him off the preferred uh, people's list. I saw an uh, old TV show, used to be on about the time of Bag 714, called The Public Defender, and they, they mentioned every show they have a uh, they honor somebody, and they mention somebody from Adams County there in uh, Quincy, Illinois, that had won their award for that particular day. And I see Illinois' gas prices are down, and uh, never pass a time for a good tax. So outgoing uh, Mayor Rahm Emanuel wants Illinois to jack up the tax for everybody so they can send their money to Chicago. Anyway, not too long for Christmas. Oh, yeah, Mark was talking about uh, going out and uh, letting the dog out. I remember when I lived over in western Colorado, one time I went out to get the paper out the front door. The back door was locked, and I had the, the main door was standing ajar, but the other door was a screen door with you know, glass up above it. And the little dog, which I still have now, he jumped up there and hit the little slot, slide. It locked me out, and I had to knock a hole in the screen to get back into place. So, yeah, your dog can lock you out if you're not careful. Thanks for being there, Bill. wa 0 afd kg 5 dx 25 going to about 60 or so. Right. I got HBZ and I see white. Yeah, uh, <laughs> well... Uh, you know, dogs don't have malicious bones in their body. It was an accident. And I'm sure you forgave him. Do you have help? Yeah, I've known people's dogs have locked them out of their car, and I've known people's four- or five-year-old kids locked them out of their car, too. It's when Mama locked you out the door is when you got a problem. <laughs> okay, Paul. Mm -hmm. Yeah, uh, okay there. Uh, I always enjoy hearing from you out there in uh, La Huntop. Well, Mr. Mr. Mark up there, N9NDI. Good morning. How are you, sir? WA0AFD with the Breakfast Club. Yeah, you're 39 degrees. And as always, thank you very much for checking in. I, I like to say this sometimes throughout the hour. Uh, we don't have check-ins. We don't have a breakfast club. So thank you all for checking in and keeping this uh, fine net uh, in operation. Well, I could say all kinds of things for the next station, uh, but uh, I'm sure you'll get a lot of lighthearted comments. But, uh, Roland, I'm saying this with a vein of seriousness. Thank God. Uh, I know you were damaged, but it could have been a whole lot worse, buddy. Come on in there. M0 0 A B W M zero A F Bill. I know. I know. Good morning to you, Bill. W-A-0-A-F-D and the good old breakfast club. And 0 A B rolling out in Wichita. Yeah, we've got 27 degrees, or 52, or high. We guess it was 59. Nice weather, but... When you're in the hospital, you can't do much. I went in Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and got out Monday about noon here. So, but uh, the old finger feels kind of numb yet. The old thumb there, it's got a hole in it there, and got a cold shape. It's real small at the bottom, makes the bone. So, had to fill it in, put some wrap on it. 
get into today. But anyway, Bill, thanks for running that. You're sounding real good. Everybody's sounding real good this morning. Man's in good shape. Hope everybody has a great day, and we'll catch you all later. WA0AFD, KD0YGH. Morning, Steve. Morning. Hey, Bill, I'm going to go ahead and get the Checking in from uh, Rawl County, uh, 73. Good morning. Uh, we're clear with KD Zero YTN. Now this next guy says we're just on me, but uh, I've observed his behavior at the uh, breakfast, and to be honest with you, he seems pretty middle of the road to me. But but he says we're just on me. 79 WJ Zero Good morning, Earl. Okay, nice. okay, okay. Got the one. and the breakfast club, W9WJO, here in uh, East Quincy, Illinois, there, about five miles or so, where it's presently 34 degrees, so I couldn't make a comment there to Tom there, say good morning to you, and uh, get the radio shack monitor. I ran in there when I was fixing my waffles. And, uh, oh, it was uh, 32.7 in there. 35 here uh, on the fancy thermometer and 34 on the accurate. So I got from the south, the north, and the east edge of the house here. So, but the uh, uh, went, went down a degree. <laughs> so, yeah, that old radio shack, I don't know, I must have that thing for 30 years or more, and it's, uh, it's about as good as they come, actually. It's, it's, it's always been right. I want to say good morning to, uh, like I say, Tom, Rich, and Jerry there uh, in Wildwood uh, checking in and all down there and over in uh, Colorado. Carl Dennis, Steve, Bill down Texas. Say good morning to everybody and I'll uh, uh, get back in here in another five minutes and uh, give you some relief there, if, uh, or whatever you want to call it. There. Back to you, Bill, so if you're not, that's WB2 UFO. I got you, Larry. Okay, yeah, well, I've got a pretty good list here, about maybe six or seven. I'll get you some of them, but I'll find out all of them. But anyhow, yeah, it sounds like you've got a wild distribution of temperatures. So you need to write a computer program and take the root sum square multiply it by six, divide by 400, and then put your hand up in the air and say, yeah, it feels like it's about 32 over. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, I was ever good at math, so it won't just take me, uh, too long to figure it out. I'll just, uh, I'll just read the most expensive one to call that one official. What do you think? I think you're dead on, buddy. <laughs> okay, seriously, we'll see you in about five minutes. Okay, don't care. Well, we're covered W9, WJO, and now we're going down to the Lone Star State, and we got to give up here in Mancelona. K0AIB, how are you, Bill? That's the AIB Breakfast Club. Good morning, Bill. Good morning to everybody on the Breakfast Club. This is K0AIB, Bill, in Clinton, Texas. We got 48 degrees going to 66, and it's going to be pretty windy today. It's going to be warm, so it's going to be good day. Didn't hear everybody really well. It's going to the band in really, really good shape down here. Say good morning to uh, Tom up there in West Plains. Yeah, 
Bill. Two headed HP heads in here, Matt still on a Mexican. Yeah, where'd you go back on 89 below the back and all bridge? About a mile and a half southwest to the Mexican here on Poverty Pack. So we've got 24 degrees, it's about 31 today. 32 days, it's 250. That's the last time the weekend. Yesterday uh, we went to uh, all of the people who stayed here for the morning and then we went for the uh, Christmas celebration at the senior center over at Gaylord. Uh, 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 they ate that band and everything. Uh, uh, that Wally workshop there all. Well, I'm too glad to hear rolling up in about the afternoon. I was adjusting tubes here at SP2, SP1, or SP1. Delta Zulu, India. I think it's DZI. 
And uh, let me have a chance to find out quickly, Zelda. All right. Uh, you said that last one was, uh, uh, what, DZI, Robert? You got her, bud. All right. Good enough. We got her, so uh, go ahead and uh, uh, wrap her up there. Okay, wa 0 AFD. Well, first of all, I want to thank everyone who's checked in with me. And some people might think this is blowing smoke there, phony baloney, but I mean this. I consider it a privilege to be next to the show because this is a fine group of ham radio operators. I'd also like to encourage those of you who So we'll say best wishes to one and all. Rolling, good to hear you back in the, the pattern, so to speak. Seventy three, and God bless. W nine W J O W A zero A F D. Good morning. All right, there, uh, Bill. We'll talk good morning to you, and uh, another good job. I just hope to do half as good. But uh, anyway, I'll uh, say good morning to everybody. Welcome to the Breakfast Club. And this net meets daily for 4 to 8 a.m. and four one-hour sessions, and this net is open to all amateur operators. And if you'd like to join the Breakfast Club, you can check in 10 different sections and go to hamdata.com if you'd like to get a certificate. And uh, my name's Earl, W9WJO, and I'll be taking calls for this uh, session of the net. And uh, first off, let's see if we have any mobiles out there like to check in, and then we'll uh, get started on the list we have. Do we have any mobiles out there? Come now. Nothing heard in northern Illinois, KU-9F. All right, there, uh, Jerry, we'll get you on the list there, and uh, nothing heard. Uh, I'll uh, go ahead and get started here, maybe uh, knock a few off, and then we'll take some more check-ins here. W zero I C Y uh, W nine W J O in the Breakfast Club and, and uh, stand by Tommy F N V. All right, good uh, KR on the list here. And uh, okay there, Eugene. Well, I know I've been, well, over the years, I've been hit with all kinds of things, and uh, some of them you don't expect. Uh, one of them, I was uh, working on a high powered microwave, and uh, I come across something in there. I was I'm trying to fix the interlock switch on the uh, front door, and uh, I think that's one of the stronger hits I've had. But uh, the, the scariest one was I was fixing breakfast. When microwaves first were, were popular, uh, I, uh, my mother-in-law was she's trying to fix everything on uh, on the microwave, and uh, she was fixing bacon and eggs and all kinds of stuff. And I said, I'm going to do it the old-fashioned way. And, I fixed some with the old cast iron skillet on the stove there over the house, and, and uh, we're just going to compare mine to hers. But uh, the problem was the uh, 
I mean, father-in-law, it wasn't too good with electricity, I guess. Or, well, he, he had an island with the uh, with the electric stove on it. Then had a stainless steel uh, uh, vent there, and I was leaning on that with one hand and grabbed that iron skillet with the other. Well, come to find out, that light up there, the insulation got through in the, that... Uh, stainless steel uh, vent hood with uh, 120 volts on it, and uh, I'd just as soon ate, ate my breakfast out of the microwave and go through that again, uh, what do you think? Yeah, I agree with you, that wouldn't have been fun, boys, that would have been uh, a big wake-up call. Yes, it was, so uh, anyway, but uh, it. It actually, uh, well, that, that hit that hit me hard. Anyway, enough of that. Uh, thanks for checking in, Eugene, and uh, turn it over here to Tommy. KG5 FNV. Good morning, W9WJO in the Breakfast Club, and uh, stand by, Don HWJ. Hey, good morning, Billy. There, Earl. Everybody on the net. Yes, sir. KG5 FNV. Tommy here in Hazel, Texas. We have about 48 degrees here this morning. It's going to get up to about 64 degrees today. Uh, it's going to be a pretty nice day. It's going to be pretty windy, though. It's going to be uh, about 20, 30 miles an hour, I think, once it's in. So, anyway, uh, I'll probably try to stay in out of that as much as I can. Good. Anyway, you guys all have a blessed day out there. And be safe, whatever you do. 39, 90, all right. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, sir, uh, Tommy. It's 48 degrees. Oh, that sounds like uh, a good temperature for this time of year. Uh, it was out here um, a couple of days ago, I guess it was. But uh, enjoyed that. Got uh, a lot of snow off. But, uh, back in the tree line, there's some. Uh, no, don't get as much sun there. It's it's still hanging around here. But uh, anyway, next couple of days probably t uh, take care of that. All right, uh, trim three U and say good morning to Don there. N zero H uh, W J. I was going out in Nebraska. Seventy nine W J O in the Breakfast Club. Stand by, uh, Lynn.
at you there, uh, Steve. And, uh, yeah, Don, you know, yeah, they, I've, I've got the same trouble there. Uh, you know, I used to, uh, well, be on the farm there, working out there in the sun all the time. And uh, it seems like everything I do gets me out in the sun. I'm, uh, you know, flying RC models for years and riding motorcycles and, and uh, all playing Frisbee. Well, we did a lot of that in the shade, though. But uh, getting <laughs> get under the big trees on the park there. But, uh, yeah, they, I've been hit with that big uh, big bottle of circuit cooler. That's what I call it. Uh, but, uh, and uh, they sure get a lot out of the insurance company every time they pull the trigger on them, don't they, Don? Yeah, well, you know, uh, I've told one of them, I got a new, newer doctor there, well, since uh, I changed doctors, the one original one retired there, but uh, <laughs> I've got another one, but I, I was about ready to tell him, I said, if I wanted to, uh, you know, get a freeze like that, I'd want to get it from eating ice cream, not from that, but uh, he got pretty heavy on that stuff, I was about ready to take that thing away from it. Anyway, <laughs> enough of that, I guess, but... Uh, Glad to hear you're doing all right. Well, I'll say good morning to uh, Land there, uh, N9LEN, W9WJO in the Breakfast Club. Stand by Mark, TCS. C-J-J-D-E-H-D-O-N and J-G-O. Uh, I probably missed at least one there. And I and I. K-0 P-I-R. W-0 Golf Zulu. Let's see here. Uh, I got NDI, PIR, GZ, BOX, and HBZ. Anybody else? A uniform golf bravo. Uh, UGB. All right, we got that. So, uh, well, we got quite a list here. We got uh, that'll be enough to keep me busy here for a while. So, uh, with that, I'll turn it over to Len, N9 LEN, uh, W9 WJO in the Breakfast Club. Send by uh, Mark, KCS. This is N9 LEN, James from Wisconsin. 32 degrees going up to 36. What's the temperature in Quincy, Well, it's 33 degrees on the big thermometer here, so uh, that's what we have so far. Thanks for getting me in. Have a good day. I'm not knowing. All right. Uh, good enough there. Uh, there, uh, Lynn. Good to good to hear you this morning. Yeah, we're running pretty close there on the on the thermometer there this morning. All right. Next, we've got Mark K9 KCF. Good morning. Uh, W9 WJO in the Breakfast Club. Stand by, Larry. UFO. Mark, it's 40 degrees. You're uh, 
few ahead of me here, but uh, we'll probably uh, get up there somewhere. I never even looked at the forecast for today. But uh, anyway, uh, sounding good this morning. Everybody's coming in good, though. It, a band's in good shape here to, today. All right, uh, 73 U Mark, good morning, Larry, WB2 UFO, W9WJO in the Breakfast Club. And then uh, we'll get Robert, DZI. on the correct antenna. That makes a big difference, I'll bet. And uh, I see Rob is coming in there next. Rob, good to see you on, uh, on the air this morning. Um, I, we have the uh, uh, Hannibal Amateur Radio Club meeting this evening, and it's a, uh, a carry-in. So I thought I'd, I'd, I'd just remind you, uh, uh, I'm bringing uh, shrimp and cocktail sauce. That's easy don't have to do anything. It, 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 it's really right off the shelf at, uh, at, at, at uh, the supermarket, but it looks like you did something. Anyway, with that, <laughs> WB2 UFO. All right, we got UOZ on the list there, and uh, all right, sounds like you're all uh, ready for the, uh, for the meeting down there. And, uh, oh, by the way, I didn't get your temperature. I, I guess you was on the wrong antenna and so, something come in there, and I got the 30 part, but I didn't even, the, the last half of it just uh, didn't make it. Yeah, it was 34, 34. I was transmitting on uh, on my 20-meter uh, beam, uh, would you believe, uh, and, uh, I, and didn't even have my auto uh, uh, tuner on. So it was. I was trying to transmit on a 20 meter beam with uh, with, with the tuner set to 80 meters. It was, it was all wrong. That's just tip. That's going to be the day. I can just tell. 34 degrees. All right, good KRX there at the bottom of the list, and uh, and that so uh, good enough there. Well, at least you got her down there right. We copied you here and. Uh, Pretty good, but it did hear it did sound like something was wrong. I guess that was uh, uh, maybe a little SWR there problem, but uh, <laughs> it was getting you out of there anyway. All right, that reminds me of the time I uh, was trying to get somebody and I hit uh, you know on this 7300. You got the I went to hit the RIT button and I hit the split and I the last been on 20 meters and boy that just didn't work right. I knew when I heard all these relays clicking and needles flying around, I said, I didn't hold the key down very long here. <laughs> and uh, then I uh, kind of, uh, you, know, you know, see that where, uh, where you can do that uh, pretty pretty easy, you know, when you're uh, running around on the net here in a hurry, hit the wrong button and uh, all kind of stuff happening. So uh, I understand that completely. But uh, anyway, glad you got that figured out. 7-3 to you, and uh, you go up the road here and get Robert. K K zero uh, D Z I W nine W J O in the breakfast club. Good morning. Your 33 degrees. That's uh, what we have here in the Quincy area. Thanks for uh, checking in there this morning. So, uh, 
I'll say a 7-3 U and good morning to Jerry here. KB9F, W9WJO in the Breakfast Club, and uh, stand by Dennis, KR. Hey, good morning, Earl, and everybody else out here. Seven three to you, and say good morning to Dennis here. KB nine KR, W nine WJ in the breakfast club. Stand by, Steve uh, YTH. Hey, uh,
got you on the, on the list there by another 10 to uh, go there, Brent. And, uh, all right there, Mike. Well, I got my waffles out of the freezer there, so I'll just, uh, uh, I find that that's an easy, quick and easy thing to do. I, uh, I can stick my waffle in a toaster. I got a four, uh, sliced toaster. The left two I have for waffles and the right two are for toast. And I just leave it sent like that. And, uh, I can come in here and start firing up things and put that thing down and take two cycles through the toaster on low there and uh, gives me some exercise there in the morning running between the, uh, the toaster and the ham shack here, getting everything turned on in the morning. <laughs> so, uh, anyway, thanks for checking in, 73 uh, you. I think you get about the lowest temperature here. Everybody's been in the 30s and 40s, so... Uh, uh, Good enough to say good morning to Jerry, KB9DEH. I'm going up to Surrey City this morning. W9WJO in the breakfast club. Stand by Don. Uh, KB9WJO. Bill Benson. Good morning, Bill. Good morning, Back up. 
then all of a sudden he got going a little better. He's got a, a reel on it to help him pick up all that down. And that wasn't even working too good for him. But he got a fairly good chunk out yesterday. He worked at it quite a while. And it worked better yesterday than it did today before. I guess. So I don't know what the, how much he's leaving out there. He kind of likes to go out there and pick up some of that corn that's laying around. I'm sure he's lost a bunch of it. And one thing I can't really, just can't figure out, my cousin who farmed my place had 80 acres of soybeans to do, and he might have finished it up last night. He was working all day yesterday, and that was his third day working at it. And uh, I tried popping one of the pods open uh, when he first started, and I'll tell you, I, I had a hard time. I don't know how that combine is getting busted out. But he's getting wagon loads of beans out. I see him uh, pulling them up in his yard. Uh, he must be putting them in a bin somewhere. I'm going to put air on uh, Maybe a little bit of heat, too. I don't know. What, I have no idea what he's going to do, but they've got to be at least 19%. And they should be down to about 14 in the door. Uh, they're much. I don't know how bad he's hurt them. But maybe he knows something I don't know how to get that wet stuff out. But he's gonna get her done. And I thought it was gonna wait till spring before he got it done. Uh, he's been working at it. Thank you. And uh, I guess it's kinda of nice to be retarded. I don't have to worry about those things anymore. Thank you, Earl. Thanks for our two. Uh, W9 WJO, I think I got it now. W9 WJO Eckler. Victor Sugar down. Well, Don, you know, uh, you, you have me uh, just imagine you there being a being two row there. You had old 730 John Deere with your uh, 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 corn plucker on it there, uh, stuck them ears off in the wagon there, uh, uh, blowing smoke rings there when that thing uh, popping around. What do you think? Yeah, smoke popping. I'm a new of a combine. They don't smoke. Yeah, with them two rows, uh, Mike. <laughs> I don't remember ever seeing a John Deere with a two row corn hit out of it. I'm sure there was some, but we um, always uh, read the combine. My father had also had a two row. Uh, back in the day, I don't want to keep that good. I had a full place. Oh, okay, uh, uh, I think I doubled somebody there. I think I had to comment there, but. Uh, I just was telling you, I remember we had a, no, I was, when I was uh, a youngster, we had a 730 there, this thing, was, you'd think that thing was going to die, and it'd uh, fire off another one there and get that flywheel going. Uh, do you have a comment? Go ahead. Yeah, we picked about 10 acres of uh, ear corn this year, it's a 60 and uh, 10 row picker, 227 John Deere picker. Sounds like a lot of, not fun. No, it was a lot of fun. On the farm there uh, with my uncles there, they kept that old equipment for uh, one simple reason, and because uh, they also had a sheller, and even though they had a big fancy uh, Massey Ferguson with uh, big uh, heads on it, they saved some, maybe, I don't know, 10 acres or whatever, uh, they uh, picked the ear corn there and, and ran it through the shellers. From, We've also used the cobs, run them through the grinder for some bedding and stuff, and uh, that was how you got that. So that, uh, and then I know I got to see the best of the uh, the new and the old that way there, Don.
metal feed there is. Okay, you do okay, Abby? Yep, okay, it worked. Uh, we got a problem now, though. So we all right, good enough, Don. We'll get on with the show here, and thanks for checking in there. Back, back some memories, anyway. So uh, at least uh, we're doing that out of the cobwebs there. All right, uh, W4JGO. Uh, good morning, uh, John. W9WJO in the Breakfast Club. Send by Mark, NDI. Uh, John, well, thanks for giving us a report there from uh, Tennessee there. Uh, good to hear you there this morning. All right, 73 3 you. Good morning to Mark, N9NDI, W9WJO at the Breakfast Club. Send by Rich, PIR. Uh, good morning. Checking in, got your 37 degrees, and uh, uh, good morning, Rich, K0PIR, W9WJO in the Breakfast Club, stand by Gene, GZ. Yeah, hey, uh, good morning, Earl, W9WJO, K0PIR, good copy on you this morning, Earl. Uh, right now up here we've got 22 degrees, going up to high 41, we've had some nice uh, warm weather. Uh, a little overcast yesterday, but not too bad, and we've got sunshine in the forecast. Thanks for running the net, Earl. We'll talk to you later. Back to you, K0PIR. All right, we've got pretty good sun going here this morning, but there's some high, thin uh, clouds up there just uh, creeping along, so something's coming in, but uh, I don't think it's going to hurt the sun too bad this morning. Sound good there. Thanks for uh, checking in. All right, uh, see how it's uh, going with Gene down here. W0, GZ, W9WJO in the bus club. Stand by Mike, BOX. Well, good morning to you, Earl. Good morning to the rest of the breakfast clubbers. This is Gene. I'm in Rose County, northeast Missouri. And the temperature here is 35 degrees right now. It was 36 when I got up. It's lost a degree. Yeah, it's supposed to get up to 45 today. Uh, the band certainly seems to be uh, in good shape. I'm uh, copying everybody Q5 and S9 or better. And uh, let's see, I guess this morning uh, I'll go down to Casey's. We used to go to Ruba's store, but uh, Ruba's last day of business is going to be the 21st. And for the past week, he's been opening at uh, 10 o'clock in the morning. And that's, uh, that's too late for the little guys. Man, they like to gather about 7.30 or 8 o'clock. So that's what we've been doing. And, uh, golly, I was just thinking about looking out and somebody, about the time I looked out the window, somebody said something about the uh, sun coming up. And I was thinking about old Bob Wolf. He used to say the sun was coming up over the green bin. And, uh, here on Sweet Spirits Farm, the sun's coming up over the milk barn. 
rotated about three or four of them. They were starting to lean uh, toward the window too much. Got to turn them around and get them uh, back straight again. <laughs> I think I was just, uh, when you turn it over to me, I was just looking for barbs sticking out of my uh, back of my hand there, but I don't think I got any there. So thanks for checking in there. I got you 35 degrees. Uh, 7 3 to you, and good morning to Mike. W9BOX, W9WJO, and the Breakfast Club. Stand by Jim, uh, HBZ. Morning, Mike. Thanks for uh, checking in with me there. And uh, yeah, we're enjoying the sunshine here too. And uh, that's why I was uh, turning my cactus around. Some of them there uh, uh, like to lean toward the sun. There, you know. <laughs> anyway, I'll uh, catch you later. Seven three to you in the morning, Jim. N eight H B Z W nine W J O the breakfast club. Stand by Tony E G B. HBZ, uh, around this morning, Jim, W9WJ. Tony? Oh, 
Okay, we'll uh, put a check mark here. All right, we'll go get pick up Perry here. KB0, uh, UOZ. W9, WJ. Oh, and the price is clear. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm by Bray. I'll tear in. Yeah, I'll tear in. Uh, Bray, I'll tear in. Yeah, 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 I'll tear in. Y
just the whole multitude in there here, here and everybody. Uh, I wondered what Larry's problem was, and <laughs> he explained it. So uh, I call that the old JD trick. He uh, <laughs> he used to pull that and. Uh, he, uh, get on, y'all set up, maybe on the darn beam. So, but, uh, oh, well, they don't call an amateur radio for nothing. So, but, uh, I looked here a little bit ago, we had right on 32 degrees, so, right on the hard mark, huh? So, uh, looking up, and, uh, supposed to warm up just a little bit today. So, yeah, I hope we do get one of them good uh, clean rain. <laughs> uh, truck could use it, I tell you. But, uh, 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 really, uh, we, need, uh, we need a good rain, really. Uh, yeah, like you say, wash these roads off and uh, uh, make it settle some of the mud down a little bit. Uh, oh, well, we'll see what we get later, I guess, tomorrow. So, we'll uh, take it in the sun, I guess, so uh, we can't do anything else about it. So, just ride around here. Joy quite as sore this morning, now. So, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm still recuperating a little bit, so, man, oh man, uh, I hadn't had a tooth pulled like that before, that, uh, uh, made the, made the dentist work a little bit to get that one, so, uh, it wasn't all in one, uh, in one swap, so, it, uh, had to go after so uh, the thing broke apart so he had to, he had to do some fishing and uh, you know you know you then had and uh, uh, the dentist tells you to uh, get that hair as numbed up as good as you are <laughs> so yeah, I got worked over got my mind but I guess you should say but uh, got that third thing uh, put to an end, so he's not one to uh, uh, throw him out for no reason either, so, but he said that guy's going to go, you know, it's man, so, but anyway, we're getting out of here, and, uh, everybody has a good one, get out there and set up some of that shiny thing today. Uh, before we learn that. So, oh, no, it's just about gone, I tell you. There's just a few little spots here and there. So, and uh, there you are, it's, uh, it's nothing good. So, <laughs> we'll get you later. Huh? Gotta go over to the, the big city this morning. So, we'll be over running around in the. Uh, in the big Q town over there this morning. So, so we're going to take care of some business. So we'll catch you later. Give old Shorty a pat. Everybody have a good one. And you know you be yours. Back to you. Uh, we're in HKS. 89 Whiskey, Yankee, and Bravo. All right, I got two out of that, I think. Is that OBB and HKS? Is that what I had? And K9WYB. KB0RFS. All right, I got WYB and RFS there, so... Uh, all right there, uh, Oral. Well, I'll tell you what, you remind me of the uh, time... I think I was in my mid-teens or somewhere and had a wisdom tooth they had to take out. I don't remember who it was, but it was over in Clayton, Illinois, and, and I swear they had something they propped up there on the chair, and it was kind of like an anvil there to hold my jaw up, and they was in there beating, and, uh, and uh, I said, man, you got a 
jackhammer or something that what you know they was working on that to bring it out in pieces and said well I guess we should have had a surgeon do this but where we're at now we're going to finish it <laughs> I'll never forget that one but uh, almost did but you reminded me of it there Oral go ahead oh yeah you know uh, you know you've been had and uh uh, after the first uh, little go around, and then they they go back in <laughs> with more tools. So uh, uh, you know you've been had then. But it's sure good. We said, well, we got that. So thank goodness for that. All right. Well, uh, good luck on the recovery there. Now I was at the dentist a week or so ago, but. I'm just getting cleaned and uh, inspected. I got uh, I got out of there without too much of any problems, so uh, I don't know. But uh, anyway, good luck on the recovery there. And yeah, say seven three U in the morning, Gary W nine V S W nine W J O in the breakfast club. Stand by, Josh K I B. Uh, 
Well, you know, uh, Gary, you got me thinking of something else. I used to have our old 69 SS Cabell, you know, big motor and front track and all that. And me and a buddy of mine was going through Washington Park over in Springfield, Illinois, and, and couldn't get up the hill. It's a little uh, curvy road that uh, went up the hill there, nice wide road. And uh, but he said, well, how are we going to get up the hill? And I said, well, I guess we'll have to push it up. So I, it was an automatic. It had a 400 turbo hydromatic transmission. So I just left that thing in gear, and we both got out and uh, pushed it. He said, how are you going to steer it? I said, no problem. This pod's track. We just pushed that rear end wherever we wanted it. And, and uh, then uh, toward the end there, I... Uh, I went ahead and got into in, in the cockpit, and, and uh, he just gave me a little bit of a push, and we got in there, and we laughed all the way to the coffee shop there. Uh, what do you think of that, pushing yourself up the hill there, Jake? Yeah, Roger, Roger. Well, uh, speaking of those old cars, uh, those uh, 69 uh, Chevy Chevelles, oh, 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 those were the uh, cars back then along with the Oldsmobile, talking to you, Earl, and everybody else here, but I had a Ford uh, Cobra with a Ford 29, so, and I did a lot of stupid stuff back then. Go ahead. Yeah, I remember that uh, Ford 29, uh, but, uh, well, I won't tell that story, though, but <laughs> the 429 was in the... And the uh, police interceptor that was uh, trying to catch up with my motorcycle. But uh, <laughs> we'll leave that one away for a while. But uh, anyway, 7-3, and uh, thanks for the uh, the memories there. All right, uh, over to Josh here. KD0, KIB. Good morning, W9, WJO, and the Breakfast Club. Stand by Joe, uh, JV. W-9-W-J-O in the breakfast class. Yeah, nothing heard there. K-A-A-U-G-B. Ground Tony, W-9-W-J-O. No, they must have got away. Well, I'll give Josh another call. KD-0, K-I-B. Around Josh. All right, nothing heard, so we'll see how it's going. Clinton there, 84 JV. Uh, Orange O, W9, WJO, in the breakfast club. Stand by Dwight, JEJ. Okay, real good, Earl. W9, WJO, in the breakfast club. This is A84 JV. Clinton, Iowa, 28.4, 28.4. And uh, we were supposed to get that uh, frozen uh, rain or whatever was going to happen, but it hasn't come here, so I don't know. It's cloudy. When I first got up, the sun was, uh, got over here to the shack, the sun was shining, but I haven't seen uh, it in a bit. So it looks like the clouds are moving in. But it's not too cold. That's the main thing. And you were talking about that, uh, those wisdom teeth. You know, when I got out of the Navy, they gave you this, they told me that uh, I could have anything done on my teeth for one year and the VA would pick it up, no matter where it was. They said, wait till the end of the year uh, before you ever have anything done. If you haven't, don't need anything, get something done. So I went in and I had uh, these wisdom teeth. And there was uh, three of them that were actually coming through and broken through. The other one didn't. Uh, VA said they could do the three, but uh, he couldn't do the, the other one. That was a good call on their part. It never did come out oh, after all these years. But two of them popped right out, and the other one was uh, was something else. Broke, had to bring it up to pieces to get it out. Something about the roots had turned up and it became anchored. So anyway, uh, I had, uh, that was in 74. Well, three years ago, I had my jaw really swell up, and I didn't know what it was, and it, something broke through, and it felt like I was, I was cutting a tooth of all things. 
and I couldn't figure it out. And all of a sudden, I kept messing with it with my tongue like you do when you have something like that. And this thing rolled out, and it was a piece of tongue. And uh, after all those years, it took a, it took a, uh, after all those years, it finally worked itself out, that shard of tooth. Isn't that something? Now, that's my story. Uh, uh, <laughs> Yeah, I was glad that, uh, I was thought, man, if I'm, break, if I'm cutting another tooth, there's something, you know, something wrong here. But uh, that's what it was, isn't that a story? Okay, well, good morning to everybody. Everybody's really sounding good here this morning. And I uh, got out here late. Yeah, I got up a little bit late. I had to get up with the dog in the middle of the night. And uh, she's getting old and needs to go out. And that's kind of disturbing for me. But uh, anyway, so that's why I slept in a little bit. So back to you, Earl. Thanks for being that control and, being, uh, and getting me in here. W9WJO in the Breakfast Club. This is AA4JV. Good morning, Joe. Good morning. All right, uh, Joe. Thanks for checking in from uh, Clinton up there. So, uh, yeah, this just turned into the last part of that here is the dental hour here, I think. But, uh, <laughs> but uh, I think that one I had trouble with. I remember one one of those wisdom teeth come in sideways or something like that, and that was a problem. And uh, I think that might have been the one. This was back in the 60s when I was a teenager and uh, had trouble with that. And uh, there for a while, I was getting to the point, I wish I had the hollers about it, that, <laughs> that uh, it didn't feel good before, so I guess it was good to get it over with. At least it left me some memories. All right, uh, enough of that. We'll say something for you, Joe, and say good morning to Dwight here, KD5JJ, W9WJ, and the breakfast uh, Stand by Dan, OVB. Yeah. <laughs> 